Hello and welcome. In this session, we will see some very basic GUI features of Jira. In the last session, we have already uh, signed up and logged into Jira. So we have an account on Jira now. So you can also log into your Jira account. And once you log into your Jira account, it will uh, generally take you to your project dashboard. So here, let us see some GUI features. So at the top, you can see here, we have this Jira icon here. So if you click here, it will take you to your work so you can see your recent projects you can also see your worked on issues projects viewed assigned to me start all this you can check here as of now you will find very less data as we have just created a project you will also see there is a link to view all projects so if you click here it will take you to all your projects and you will see a list of all your projects here okay and then you can also see te the templates here so you can see a, a kanban work board or a kanban board scrum board all this you can check here so i'll go back to my work page here now as of now i can see one of my project that we created in the last session i will click this and it will take me to my project board here you can see we have a scrum board i will show you how you can create board so you can see here is a dashboard and here we have option to view all dashboards and create dashboards so here if we have if we create any issues you can see the issues here in different statuses like to do in progress then we can also have more statuses here and then in the on the sidebar here for whatever you have selected like it is a project you can see the timeline the backlog the boards uh, here we have forms as well then if you create any goals for yourself or for this project you can see that and then here we can see the project settings so you can check all your project settings here and then here we have notifications issue types so here you can also set the issue types for your project you can see here on the sidebar that we have all these issue types epic bug story task subtask if you want to add more issue types you can add from here you can give the name of the issue type and uh, you can give some description you can select an icon and then create it and then here we can also edit the workflow so how do you want your issue to progress so from when you start the issue it will go to to do status then it will go to in progress then done now if you want to edit it or add it you can also add more statuses here so we can add and we can set up the workflow like this so as of now i will leave this we will learn more about it in the coming sessions so i will now go back to project settings so here you can see all these we can also see boards here and then we have filters we have dashboards you can view your dashboards so you can see this is the default dashboard and we can create more dashboards you can go to create dashboard and then here you can give the name description and the viewers editors etc and then you can create the dashboard we will learn about this as well then we have teams if you have teams you can see your teams here you can create a team invite people to your teams and then we can see the plans here so you can see if it is a free plan or a paid plan you can also try for the premium version for free for few days from here then you can see the apps so there are some extra apps that you can add to your jira based on your needs so for example if you want to do any slack notification or reporting you can use slack we have Zephyr for testing, timesheet tracking. We have option to explore more apps. So you can go here to get more apps. So here you can see a different apps. You can search from here. For example, I will search for Zephyr, which is a testing app and you can add from here. Then we have options to manage your apps. It will show you all your apps and you can see the details here. And then we have other options, view apps, manage apps, add more apps. Then here you can see we have a create button this is to create an issue so you can once you click on create you can select the project and then the issue type and then the details about the issue we will have a separate session for this then you can see here we have a search box so when you click on this search you can see we have jira and compass here so i will go to jira and here you can see your boards projects and issues and then here we have filters like you can filter by the time and then by the project by the assignee and reporter statuses etc 
and we can also filter by labels we can create labels as well then here you can see once you click on uh, this search box here at the bottom we can see we can directly go to boards projects filters and people from here so if i click on boards it will take me to the boards and here we have option to create board then again if i go to projects it will take you to the project list so you can see all the projects from here and then we have option to create a project similarly if i click on filters so as of now we have not created any filters and then we have people if i click on here it will take you to your people and teams page and you can add people from here add teams from here manage all the users from here and then we have option to view all issues so it will take you to all your issues so here you can see all your issues as of now we don't have you can uh, see all these different filters my open issues reported by me all issues open issues done viewed recently so this can be very handy you can directly go to the search bar and you can go to all these pages from here then if you have any notifications you can check from here then here is the help icon and this can be very handy so when you go to help you can see some documentation ask community contact support all these things and then we also you can go here and you can click on any of these so let's say i will say ask community forum so it will take you to the community forum like this okay and then you can ask your questions or you can see more help options here so you can go from here then we have this settings here and here you can check your account settings your personal jira settings then system settings product settings project settings issues apps etc so let's say i will go to projects and here you can see the list of your project and here we can have option to create project and then project categories here you can go to project categories trash archive etc then similarly if i click on issues from the settings you can see the issue types you can add issue types here and all these different options you can see from here okay and then if i go to user management you can manage your users and add users manage and everything and then billing etc then if you go to your user icon here your profile and settings you can check your user uh, settings and your profile your personal settings notifications we also have themes here so if you want to set a dark theme or a light theme you can go it go from here and then we have a logout option so this is what we get at the top menu and then the sidebar will change as per whatever you are working on if you are working with a project you will see the options related to the project here if you are working with the issue you will see options related to a issue here so this will depend on what you are working with so let's say i will go to my project now and here you can see all these options project settings timeline backlog etc and if i go to view all issues you can see this changes like this so also you can see here in the your work you can very quickly see what is assigned to me what recent boards etc so you can see what you recently viewed and what are the boards you can check assigned to me and again here it will take you to your work and then here is a option which can take you to different apps like atlassian home jira administration jira service management product discovery confluence which is documentation and collaboration platform so you can go from here so as of now i will come back to my project and this is a very very high level overview of the gui and features when we start working with each and every feature like the project the issues the dashboards the different kinds of boards you will learn and understand uh, more about the working of jira the different features and gui so we will continue with this in the coming sessions as we will work with more concepts of jira i hope this was useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning